Dear Alex, it's been difficult to find the words to say because no words oh God, <laughs> can ever do my heart justice to how strong it beats for you. Every morning I am so thankful for every dead end, twisted turn in life, because it led me back to you in the perfect time and place. You are the strongest, manliest man, the kindest, the sweetest, the most beautiful soul I am lucky to marry today and every day forever. Life is more beautiful with you by my side. Together, I know we can do anything. You are my home, you are my calm, you are my safe, and where you are, I will be. I vow to be your rock when times are shaky, I vow to love you unconditionally each and every day. I vow to protect you, honor you, and make you proud of this beautiful life we are building together. I vow to do this with my words, my actions, my heart, and my soul. I love you, Alex Vega. I always have, I always will. Forever yours, Cindy. My love, the moment I met you, my eyes witnessed beauty. Lust ran through my body and my heart was taken. There was an instant connection to you. Over the next few years, I learned about your intelligence, your passion, and your dreams. Unbeknownst and effortlessly, you inspired and motivated me. I was proud to know you, and I began to dream of what could be. Later in life, I learned of your compassion kindness, strength, and determination. I was drawn to you in ways I could not resist. Today I know your love, your trust, and your commitment. I am grateful for all that you are and honored to be your partner for life. I promise to be faithful to you, to love you at all times, to hold you close when you need comfort, and to motivate you when you are down. I promise to protect you from harm be your strength when you are fearful and the solid platform for you to stand on. I will care for you when you're sick and support you at all times. Together, we are a team that many have recognized how we complement each other. Regardless of where we go or what we do, I am yours, always and forever. You are my home, you have my heart, and I will remain by your side until death do us part. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the Eternal Father, keep you of one heart in love for one another, that the peace of the Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. Amen. Amen. May you be blessed in your children, have solace in your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. Amen. May you be witness in the world to God's charity so that the afflicted and the needy who have known your kindness may one day receive you, thankfully, into the enduring, enduring eternal dwelling of God. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. People of God, holy ones, God gave you the gift of his son, the risen body of Christ in Holy Communion. But he gives you a gift today that you will celebrate and enjoy for the rest of your lives. I present to you in God's name, Mr. and Mrs. Alexander Vega.
Alex and Cindy were destined. Now, it took a while, it took a lot longer than what he would have liked because we all heard the stories every time, you know, driving back from lunch, um, how much he was in love with her as a, as a sophomore in high school, but we knew that it was gonna come. And he, as we grew, he was, you know, becoming very fortunate with the things that he was able to accomplish with his career uh, and things like that, but he was always missing something and we all knew what it was. And he found it. And when he found it, I think we all realized that they were whole. Um, we, we knew that you were whole and we knew that our family um, was getting bigger. Our family was growing. And now all of our families are growing personally, but as a, as a collective and, you know, there's nobody better that I would want to have as a role model for my son, for, for our group, um, than you two. So as you guys saw, Alex and I got married a year ago today, and it was perfect. It was beautiful, it was awesome. Um, I couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, but what was important was that you all are here. Um, and that I share Alex with you guys. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Talking to friends and family this weekend was a great reminder of how Cindy brings good people together. When I learned this weekend about her throwing holiday parties at Alex's mom's house over the years, including when Alex wasn't even there, I wasn't surprised. When Cindy loves someone, she makes an effort to keep them close. I've had the pleasure of meeting many of you over the years. Now, everyone has talked about how Alex looks at Cindy, and it's true, we've all seen her tonight. I mean, how can you help it? She's gorgeous. But I think that what we haven't talked about is how Cindy looks at Alex. She looks at him with confidence, and with ease. Her eyes soften and her shoulders melt. She's entirely herself when she's with Alex. And what more could you want for your best friend for them to find somebody that they can be so entirely themselves With that, let's raise our glasses to the happy couple. Cheers, and thank you for bringing all of us here today. <laughs> so this has been um, a journey for us. We purchased this house in uh, February, moved in basically March 1st, and we've been going at it, like Cindy said. Uh, we've had several friends, many family members support us in many ways, including coming out here and just like Cindy said, moving dirt, putting down grass, planting plants, you name it, we've done it. But for me, that was the most special part of all of that. Those special times, or those times in general, just being with those people out here, you just can't ever get those back. You can't ever recreate them unless they just happen. And so all those family members, friends that have come out here and helped us, we thank you so much. It means more than just getting something done. It's a memory that I'll never forget and neither will Cindy.